Hi, this is Alex and welcome back to another episode of CC Tips and Tricks. In this series, we answer some frequently asked questions that we get from our customers from around the region. This week, we have a question from a customer in Thailand asking, how do you create presets when printing with the Ricoh Pro TF6250? We found out that the customer received an order to print a large batch of customized photos for some event. All the photos were of the same size and they were to be printed on the same media. Printing time was fast, but they were wasting a lot of time having to set up each job individually. With each job, they had to manually set many settings such as the media size, color options, print options, as well as spot colors as seen here. This is standard practice and it's fine if you're printing just one or two jobs, but if you're printing a large batch of jobs, it really adds up and becomes quite tedious. Also, as there are many settings involved, there's definitely a chance of human error, which will mean wasted time as well as wasted resources. Therefore, the customer is right in wanting to set up a preset so as to save a lot of time in preparing the prints. In fact, we were faced with a similar situation recently where we had to print a bunch of long service awards individually as there was variable data involved. Our TF6250 UV flatbed printer is running ColorGate production server and what we'll be doing is creating a hot folder and assigning our presets to that hot folder. Let's go to ColorGate and see how this is done. Under the printer menu, we will select properties. You'll see a couple of tabs here and in the hot folders tab, select add. Choose the folder that you want to use or create a new folder and then click OK. The hot folder is now created. We will then click on settings to define the presets for this hot folder. Here, we'll set the printer settings such as the media size, the job settings, where we'll select to mirror the output as we're doing reverse printing on acrylic, as well as the color settings where we'll select the color profile, and also the spot color settings. In doing this, all jobs that we drop into this hot folder will share the same settings, meaning that we'll save a lot of time, as well as take away the risk of human error. We recommend creating a separate hot folder for all your common repetitive jobs in order to maximize your efficiency. Hopefully this answered today's question and you'll find this useful in your production process. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. We've come to the end of this episode and as usual, remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.